So, pretty soon here, Battlefield and Halo are both going to be coming out, and I'm going to be grinding those games and playing them a lot, and I'm going to be putting out a lot of content for both Battlefield 2042 and Halo once they come out. So, I figured, since this is the last video before Battlefield comes out, we're going to do one last Titanfall 2 up upload. This isn't saying that I won't ever upload Titanfall 2 again, but... This is the last one for the foreseeable future. But this one is, we're gonna go out with a bang. This is something about a mechanic that I think Titanfall 3 would desperately need in order to survive in the future. So make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. Click all the links down in the description below. Follow me on twitch.tv forward slash crypt6, all that good stuff. And let's get into what is needed for Titanfall 3. So essentially this change would be addressing one of the biggest issues i think when it comes to titanfall 2 especially coming from a new player or a casual player standpoint which is what titanfall is meant to be it's meant to be a casual game there's no getting around that titanfall is meant to be a casual game but one of the biggest issues i see every single time a new player comes to titanfall 2 they realize and i still understand this but i've just gotten used to it is that titans are very overbearing in this game which they're supposed to be they're ultimates like you you only get so many a game they're ultimates like ultimates are supposed to be super powerful but it's a bit much when team play comes into it if they were just by themselves titans would be perfect but the issue is team play exists in titanfall because it's 6v6 right so the issue is titans are too powerful because of team play if you're a pilot and the enemy team has six titans and your team just all your titans just died and or you just ran out of your titans and it's a six y'all have the enemy team has six titans and your team has none you have no chance of winning that game anymore just none i have been in so many situations where so many matches where I am the only person on my team and I took out one or two Titans with me. So the enemy team has four or five Titans on their team, but I just got out. None of my teammates have their Titans. And then we just lose the game because of that, because there's no way to really get them out of their Titans other than AT, a super concentrated AT, if, AT effort where my, my entire team has to focus one Titan, then move on to the next Titan, and we all have to focus the same one. And that's just not happening in a game like Titanfall, which is a casual game where comms aren't even a thing. You know what I'm saying? So, the issue is Titans need to be limited in some way, shape, or form to prevent Titan stacking. Like, like Monarch stacking is probably the most prevalent thing in current day Titanfall 2. It's where everybody on the enemy team chooses Monarch, sits in the back of the map, and you have no chance of winning that match. Absolutely none. You can do a constant. The only chance you have is if your team all drops their Titans at the same time and go goes and get those Monarchs. You have no chance as a pilot, as a team of pilots. You have no chance as a team of pilots and two Titans. If the enemy team has six Monarchs, there's no shot you can win that match. Monarch stacking is probably the most powerful thing. Any Titan stacking is pretty powerful, but I would say Monarch is definitely the most oppressive version of it because you just sit in the back of the map and pilots can't even peek you. The other issue is there's too many Titans on the field at the same time. So there are multiple ways that respawn could go if they ever did make Titanfall 3, which uh, crossing my fingers, I hope they do. So there are multiple ways they could go. One way they could go with uh, just limiting the amount of Titans available per team. So in, in Call of Duty, right? They have made this change where if you get a kill streak but your team already has way too many kill streaks going on already if you try to call in your kill streak it says airspace full right so you can't so like if you already have like two uavs like bomber bombing runs going on you, like you can't call in another uav so essentially the way that respawn can do it with titans is say listen there's already three titans on the field you cannot call in another titan there's too many titans already three is is the hard limit right that would be one way to do it maybe four maybe two i don't i don't know how respawn would want to balance it that's up to them but that would be one way to do it that would make sure that titan stacking isn't so powerful that and this would give pilots a chance to be actually be able to at and cut down on the titan count in a reasonable amount of time 
That way, the enemy team doesn't have time and control for the entire match, you know what I'm saying? The other way they could do it is they could say, listen, well, this depends on whether they go back to Titanfall 1 customization or Titanfall 2 customization. I'm personally hoping for Titanfall 2 customization, so let's cover that first. In Titanfall 2 customization, we have Hero Titans, so each Titan is its own individual personality. What they could do is say, listen, you can only use one of each, like, like the characters in Apex, you can only use one of each character on your team. So like if we had an Ion, a Monarch, and a Legion, one person uses Ion, one person uses Legion, one person uses Monarch. You can't use three Monarchs, you know what I'm saying? That would be one way to do it. Just like in Apex where you can only use Ash, Wraith, and Octane, right? You can't use Octane, Octane, Octane. Stuff like that. That that would be extremely beneficial to prevent Monarch stacking. But if they wanted to go back to the Titanfall one uh, customization style where, you have, where you're just basing off the Strider, the Atlas, and the Ogre chassis, you could just say, hey, listen, you can only use, you can only have two of one kind of chassis per team. So like if it's a six person team, you can only have two Striders. You can only have two, uh, you can only have two Atlas. You can only have two Ogres. The issue that comes with going back to Titanfall 1 customization and doing that is that you get into the Overwatch issue where you get like role queuing essentially. And people are like, I don't want to play an Ogre chassis. I, I want to play Strider chassis, you know, and that just becomes an issue. And it's not as much of an issue with uh with the hero system. So that just comes down to how Respawn wants to make it. But I just wanted to sit and talk about it for a second. I think Titanfall 3 seriously needs to limit Titans in some way if it wants to survive. Because to be honest with you, new players don't want to deal with Titans. They could play PvP, but PvP PvP isn't the main mode of Titanfall. Attrition is the main mode of Titanfall. You go play Attrition, right? So Respawn needs to figure out a way to limit Titans and make it a bit more balanced around pilot play because that's what people want. People want pilot play. There are the people out there that want Titan play, but they're in the mi minority. The majority is pilot play. And it, because it, Titan play is an ultimate. That's what it is. So you don't get it as often. You're not in a titan as often so respawn definitely needs to figure out a way to limit titans in the future if they do release titanfall 3 everybody cross your fingers for that of course but that's kind of my short thoughts i know it came out jumbled i didn't script this video i just kind of did this one off the top but i'm super excited for battlefield <laughs> remember to subscribe to the channel like the video all that stuff click all the links in the, in the description all that good stuff because we are going to be hitting battlefield content and we're gonna it's gonna be good content and we're gonna be hitting halo content when it comes out in december as well we're gonna be pushing content out like never before it's gonna be insane i'm going to make the best content i possibly can for you guys i'm super excited i hope you guys are too thank you so much for hanging out with me guys it does mean a lot i will see you guys next wednesday if i don't release a bonus battlefield video uh also i'll see you on twitch on twitch so make sure you follow me over there thank you so much for watching it does mean a lot guys ggs and goodbye